guys, today is 17th of May, which is the most important and the most celebrated day here in Norway by the Norwegians all over the world. And it's called the uh, Sotinimai or the National Constitutional Day. And today we have a guest. It's Christian. Hello. So today we've prepared some traditional breakfast, which is also called as traditional frukost. Let's ask Christian what we have for today. Yes, yeah, so we have a really traditional food, like AJ said. Uh, I'll show you. This is a cheesy omelette. Okay. With um, onions. And we have a potato salad, homemade potato salad with, with the dill. Dill? Okay. I made this. We also have some uh, smoked salmon. Salmon is super Norwegian. Okay. And we have a uh, cured ham, also called spekeshinke. Spekeshinke. This one in the middle. And we have reindeer sausage. Reindeer, where is that? This one. Oh, it's That's like a reindeer. salami. Yeah. It's okay. like salami, but it's made by, uh, from reindeer. Okay. We have. Uh, Do you know what it's called? This one? <laughs> it's like a salmon pie, I think. Yep. Made and by my wife. Pie. So, what is that? Salmon and squash pie. Okay. <laughs> mm, yeah. Alright. <laughs> So what else? It's just sweet um, mustard. Then. Mustard. Yeah, sweet oh, yeah. mustard. Okay. And this goes really well with the meat. Okay. Yes. And also bread. Bread is a is a Norwegian staple, but not like any type of bread. It's going to be like a coarse type of grain. Okay. So we uh, we love our bread, but it has to be uh, filling. Okay. Uh, like also champagne. Champagne. It's champagne. a must. It's a must. What are those? Uh, roast beef. <laughs> roast beef with cucumber. And lemon. Okay, one more. This is this is a uh, tomato seal. It's like tomato herring, and it's super Norwegian. We can also eat this uh, during Christmas. Okay. So it's really nice, nice and sweet. Of course, and for, for the, the kids. For the kids. Pasta. We have the 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 Sure. Okay, we're about to pop the champagne because champagne is a traditional Setnamai drink. Okay. 17th of May. So let's pop it. Got the lemon dog in. Got the lemon dog in. So. Oh, cool. 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 Only here in Norway where we drink champagne during breakfast. Yeah, that's right. Champagne breakfast. That's also that's also a term. Champagne breakfast. Champagne breakfast. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we are finally out. It's gonna be my first time to celebrate Satinimai, so it's gonna be fun. Um, looks exciting. Here you can check it out. People wearing Puna there, over there, and there. With the kids. Okay, so we are now here at Carl Johan and I think the parade is finished, but there's still a lot of people.
Oh my gosh, you made my day! Thank you! Hi, Thank you so welcome! Um, these people are done with the parade going to the king but we're tr gonna try to check them out after so here they are Getting these um, cards from people, and um, look, that's what it is. So, Christian, yes. what is it? Well, it is a card. It's like a calling card. Yeah. But it's it's like a nonsense calling card. You know, it's just a really silly picture with a really silly name, made up names, name up address. You know, unless your name is Google. Stop acting like you effing know everything. So sense. it's a tradition here in Norway. Yes, it's through the tradition where uh, it's something for the kids basically. Where uh, okay. I think it's the college graduates. All right. To celebrate on the 17th. So we are gonna go move again over there. <laughs> Okay, so the parade is over and um, here is the palace. Got the Lerve Dagen. Okay, so we are gonna ask some people about their costume, where it's from. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are a vlogger. So we are a vlogger on 7th of May. On the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, can, I can try. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> go. Yeah. Just like 10 seconds or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's up to you. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, go. Okay. This is uh, Vestfold Bunad. It's from the ve western and southern part of Norway, redesigned in, uh, uh, designed in 1956. Golden vest, red jacket, and you can che choose between uh, black knickers or a white elk leather pants. <laughs> Perfect. It's, um, I think, actually, it's the fifth. Uh, awarded in the fifth most beautiful view, not in uh, Norway. Cool. Pretty proud. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Okay. What's special about your view, not? Uh, it's a national costume and it's from Stelemark. Okay. Uh, and I got it when I was 15 years old. Yeah. Um, and my whole family also had a view, not a national mm. costume. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Kommer du med spørsmål eller? What's special about the Gunnar? Um, it's from Telemark. Okay. From the west of Telemark. It was, uh, I'm told it's supposed to be a very poor county, so it's not a lot of colors. Okay. And we gave all the money to the women who do not. So they got a lot of uh, silver and stuff. Okay. It's, uh, what's special? It's black mostly. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, Nikish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you have silver buttons, clock. Uh, it's also with uh, what do you call it? Knife? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the hat and the uh, what do you call it? Silk. 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 Yeah. It's a special way to tie it. Right. It never stays in place. <laughs> but it's, it's okay, it's comfortable. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I bit the ikke film. 
Yeah, so what's special about the, the costume? Uh, this is a bunad yeah. <laughs> from uh, Ål in Hallingdal. That's uh, west, south, north of uh, Norway? It's uh, south to west. South west? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> what's special about like the details of the costume? It's uh, some broderies on the back. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, also uh, Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. So I'm just gonna ask, uh, what's special about your bunad, your costume? It's from where? Uh, from North in Okay. The, yes. In middle of Norway. Middle of Norway. Yeah. Okay. So. What can you say about the details of the costume? What's the detail, Anne-Marie? I must, I must <laughs> ask my friend. Yeah, yeah. It Sorry, can be a different uh, yeah. color. Different some color. is red yeah. and some is blue. Blue. The shoes. Ooh. Okay. The event is done, but um, I really enjoyed. This is my first time to experience Satinimai, the National Constitutional Day here in Norway. It's so nice because all of the people are dressed up, wearing their suits and their costume, which is called Bunad. And like everyone's happy, everyone's positive. It's not that sunny, but it's not that warm, not that cold, so it's perfect. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. Yeah, so can you tell me about your costume, where it's from? Or, yeah? uh, it's from Nomere. It's in the west coast, northwest. Okay. Uh, it's from my grandfather's side of the family. Cool. So, what can you say about the costume? Like the details, the special thing about it? Uh, well, I don't know all the history of it, but it's a wool. Okay. So it has a special, I don't know the name of this, but yeah. yeah. It's woven all the way and it has uh, some red details. Underneath. Okay, yeah. Plus, I, I can see that you have a knife there. Yeah. Yeah, so. That's a kind of uh, the personal addition to it. It's okay. a handmade knife that I got from my dad, so oh. it's. So nice. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, hi. Yeah. Hi, picture game. Hi, picture. Picture time. Hi, Tayo. 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 Hi, Tayo.
got it from their parents or their grandparents so it was really more of inheritance it's like when you pass on your jewelry to your grandson something like that so it's really important to them yeah we can match also mention that the reason why it's so so expensive is because uh, the bunad is uh, all tailor-made and mm. uh, almost no bunad that's, that is the same like you can see uh, on the 17th of May Everyone is wearing very different types of do nuts, yeah, yeah, yeah. and this make, makes it like a type of uh, clothing that you can't really buy in the store. Mm. So it has to be <coughs> tailor made by professional tailor, basically. Yeah, and um, it was really a good experience because um, everyone's enjoying, everyone's out. I mean, I wish we also have this in the Philippines. Like everyone's like just gathering and going to the um, to the city, but unfortunately, we weren't able to go to to the palace to see the, the king and the royal family in totality it was a good experience mm. yeah. and uh, for me because I grew up here in uh, Norway that 17th May is not only about Norway it's really inclusive type of uh, festival if you can call it that that uh, it doesn't matter where you're from if you're from Africa if you're from Asia it doesn't matter everyone's invited and yeah. that's what uh, makes it uh, the 17th of May so special to me and also so special to all Norwegians. So you can see people of all color and race uh, at the 17th of May. Yeah, I mean, I, we saw a lot of Filipinos asking for pictures, so it was really fun. And I heard that even um, Norwegians in other countries celebrate this event. That's why it's really, I think it's really important to all the Norwegians. All right, so that's it for this episode. If you have comments or su any suggestions, just write it down below. By the way, I'm planning to do a Q&A for my next vlog episode. So if you have questions or any ideas whether it's about fashion or anything under the sun just ask me record it make a video and send it to my twitter account the link of my twitter account is on the description below so it's gonna be fun and yeah that's it so i hope you had fun on this episode and i'll see you in the next one bye bye